All right, so today, June 27th, probably about 10 minutes away from taking off on our border-to-border -border run. Uh, we are planning to drive to the eastern border of the state of Wyoming, border with Nebraska, uh, get off pavement and attempt to drive state of Wyoming east to west to probably Afton, Wyoming, on the border with Idaho, uh, off-road. So it's all pretty much packed, ready to go. The air springs are at about close to 30 psi, so it can definitely handle the load. And it's going to, we're, we're counting on about a week uh, just camp, uh, test all, all of our gear, see what we might be missing, what uh, might be m might need to be added to our inventory. Oh, yeah, I installed new uh, spotlights by Hella. Um, don't know how bright they are. Just installed them yesterday, so didn't have a chance to to test them. They are uh, the bulbs are. Uh, that came with it are 50 watts. I'm thinking maybe upgrading it to 100, but we'll see on this trip how um, how they will do. Seems like the right one is pointing a little bit to the right. I'll have to redirect it a little bit. I did put my old uh, Be of Goodrich tires. Um, there's plenty of thread left on them, so I'll uh, use them up with old wheels. Um, I really don't expect to need bid lockers on this trip. It's going to be mostly um, high desert run on the fire roads and then gravel roads, secondary roads, whatnot. Um, and what I did notice though, um, I don't know if it's because of they are lighter than the um, uh, the Mickey Thompson's or maybe another reason maybe Mickey Thompson's needs to be ran at higher um, pressure but my mileage has improved after putting those back um, I think the reason might be uh, BF Goodrich's have stiffer sidewalls doesn't so they don't require as much <coughs> air pressure to run them I'll have to experiment and see the drawer system seems to be working very well on my last trip, uh, it's been used. So we are almost ready to go. So we're leaving Riverton, as I said before, we are on our, on our way to eastern border of uh, Wyoming, border with Nebraska, where we're going to get off road and attempt to drive the state of Wyoming using back roads. We'll see uh, how much of the way we'll be able to not to touch the, the pavement. Uh, at this point we're going to we're going east through Casper. We'll stop at Casper to get some miscellaneous stuff, uh, some missing tools, uh, some, maybe by a camping table. Other than that, so oh, we'll have to fill up our, all of our fuel that's on the top of the roof rack and good times all right we're in casper getting fueled which is fueling the extra 25 gallons that we're going to bring with us so far we covered 120 miles I got 15 miles per gallon fuel, with, uh, fuel mile, mileage going with the wind, so I'm kind of surprised. It's pretty high with all the load and three people in the vehicle. Uh, so far, the only thing that's not according to the plan is timing. It's already uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, and we still have probably three, three and a half hours to go to the border. 
so it should be all right. We'll probably should be uh, breaking camp for the first night by six o'clock. It might be the last fueling station before we get off-road. Uh, we are in a metropolitan big city of Lusk, population 1,457 according to the sign. It's a little bit lower elevation here, still high desert, uh, but it's under 5,000, probably actually closer to 4,000 feet out here. It's 5 o'clock. We are running behind our schedule. We still have, uh, I would say, probably at least 60 miles to go to the border. And like I said uh, in the previous segment, um, looking east it doesn't look very, very... Well, it looks nice, but it's not for our conditions, I'm pretty sure. Rain is always welcome, especially uh, in Wyoming. Wyoming is a very arid state. But here, oh look, that's pretty nice, huh, Mitch? Swing the camera that way. Big city of Lusk has an even uh, aqua park. Uh, so yeah, that's where we are, and I guess next uh, segment will be from the border. All right, we finally made it to the road, to the border. This road actually divides Wyoming and. Nebraska and we got delayed by 45 min minutes due to the diligent work of the navigator for today Mitch mm -hmm. say hi to everybody th th thanks for <laughs> for getting us delayed by 45 minutes or more oh, it's my pleasure but um, so yeah well, we, yeah it's already close to what uh, eight, uh, seven o'clock or something yeah 20 minutes to seven 20 minutes to seven so priority right now is to find a, a spot to camp and i don't think it's going to be very difficult uh, luckily the storm um st is staying east of us it's not raining so high hopes anyway next uh segment from the campsite all right, I think the, we were driving for a while, um, probably no more than, say, 15, 20 minutes. And we found this abandoned ranch and we decided to camp for the night here. We still have some daylight to set up the camp. Um, looks nice and cozy out here. Actually, comparing to the, to our valley in Wyoming, this is really green out here. It must be uh, getting a lot more precipitation. So we're going to be uh, setting up camp. Don't know if we're going to have a our favorite um, campfire. There is some abandoned, well, just piled up lumber here probably collapsed structure we'll see 
but uh, here we are. And for now the rain is staying away. We'll see if it's gonna stay away, stay away until the morning. Of course, kids being kids, even if they are grown up, first thing I do, but <laughs> Mitch is already exploring. So anyway, let's see our statistics. So we covered 326 miles. We got about, uh, well, while we're on the highway. It's down to 14.9, but we got 15 miles per gallon. Uh, burned 21 gallons of fuel. And it took us actually driving 6 hours and 32 minutes, which should have been a lot less, but that's what, I, what it took us the first day. Of course, it never goes according to the plan. So, but that's fine. I think we're all in good spirits and having a good time. All right, camp is slowly shaping up. Mitch finishing up the tent. Catherine is boiling some water for some soup and working on the rest of the snacks. Shobi, you never on a video say hi. <laughs> what a cutie. Um, and we're just having, I think in my mind, this is what it's all about. I mean, it just in the middle of nowhere, this abandoned ranch. Somebody lived here a while ago. There is further down on the horizon, there is right down there, there is another abandoned ranch. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. And ca the camp is set up. Food is almost ready. Little breeze picked up, which is very nice. Keeps the mosquitoes at bay, which I thought it would be a worse, uh, worse problem than it is. Because there's, uh, there's a lot more moisture out here, but yet uh, mosquitoes don't seem to be really aggressive. Is that a bird, Strobe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost sounds like somebody's whistling. Beautiful, beautiful setting. Another lesson hopefully learned. Catherine didn't check the silverware. So all we have is nice, no spoons, no forks. So this is improvised chopsticks for for the soup. And that's how it comes. Uh, Catherine, don't forget to sterilize it. Get Mitch's light and lighter, I mean. Do you want chopsticks too? Sure. Why not? I was actually doing fine with knife, but this is kind of interesting. Mitch, why were you gloating? What? When your sister forgot something. Huh? Why were you gloating that your sister forgot something? <laughs> Boy, this cat and dogs. Well, I had two sisters myself, so I should be. Quiet. The other birds don't like it. Look, they're chasing it away. Because they're chasing it away from the nest. Go, birds. Oh, I think they're baby hawks. Day one comes to the conclusion. And it's been a long, tiring ride, but it's uh, definitely worth it.